hybrid football pit is very beneficial for uh, a more a more powerful back kick. So it allows to position the foot next to the blade uh, more precisely with different angles and with different um, inserts to transition the energy for, to, for the back kick better and also for the front kick uh, thanks to this uh, upper part and just like with this extra angles and extra volume uh, it allows for this extra energy transfer and uh, before it was used mostly in speed but now in free diving it's a new uh, like wave when there is uh, like this foot pocket was asked by the community uh, and we just needed to develop it so we did and so we just took the monofin foot pocket and built it into the uh, bifins and we see that for some purposes that gives better results for some <laughs> technique types. The hyperbatting foot pocket is creating an angle itself so the blade is straight, it does not have an angle in it and we build the angle with a rubber uh, pieces and that allows us a greater customization ability. So that's the biggest difference. Both fins, the Hyperbar fins and the CB2X uh, fins or future generations, just with the small foot pockets, so the Hyper foot pockets and uh, standard foot pockets, they serve different purposes and the Hyper foot pocket uh, it's very much customizable and it can be adjusted to the technique better. Uh, standard foot pocket, hand built, but very small and lightweight, is great also for top performances, so I was able to achieve world records with these fins at depth and it depends on the preference. If, if uh, the CB2X fits great and this small foot pocket, lightweight foot pocket with an angled blade works really well, then it can be used for the uh, top performance. Or as well, it's lighter and, and smaller, so it can be uh, just something easier to carry around, to travel with, and still with high performance. The hyper fins are more customizable and potentially more efficient but also they're a bit heavier and a bit more in volume, so it's a bit harder to travel with. So that just depends on the goals. So Technique-wise, everyone has their own unique style, depending on their body, uh, shape and proportion. And it's, it's hard to say like right away, without knowing the person and his style, uh, which fins will be better, right? So we gotta see like, what is the flexibility of the ankle, what is the strong sides, which kick is like front kick or back kick is stronger. So hybrid right fins like customized and uh, like adjusted to the properly uh, can give better results just because of this ability to customize more. Uh, and lightweight foot pockets, uh, CB2X currently, uh, can uh, do the job like really, really well. Um, for yeah, for a lot of a lot of divers, we just gotta see the technique and uh, like understand which which uh, well, yeah which customization will make this uh, diver swim better. To know which fin is right for you, you or know your technique really well and which like what what is missing, or you can speak to your coach or to us as well, so we can help you with this answer. I use, for my dives, for competition dives currently, last season I used CB2X uh, for my uh, world record dive, and currently like, I adjust my technique to, see, uh, to the hyper fins, and I'll actually, when I'm preparing for the world record, I'll probably have both models with me to during the really deep dives to understand. So we'll see, actually, I'll have the answer when I will use in competition maybe towards the end of the year. Uh, but I'm, they are very, very close to each other, both hyper fins and CBX. Just, uh, it depends on my ability to adjust my technique in time and yeah, use the benefits of the hyper fins best, right? Because that might then, uh, for the records, technique is very much automated. So adjust the technique if it takes time. Uh, but in general, I would use, if you're talking about stiffness, uh, I would use usually between medium and soft, like I would be choosing again, sometimes I would have both stiffness with me, soft and medium, and choose which is the right for me, uh, like for me in the last 
week or two weeks before the competition. So that's something I, I, I keep the flexibility to decide this when I'm uh, even very close to the official like, uh, competitions. But um, my, most of my preference goes usually towards soft. So I would ha always have soft blades with me and sometimes I would use, I would use medium. And yeah, the same true for the hybrid bike things. Like I like soft, but lately I might because I do more strength work. Uh, I would, I might switch to more medium stiffest blades like in the uh, next next season. Uh, and foot pocket wise, I have really tight foot pocket, usually like three to four sizes less. So my size is 43 European, and I use size 39, 40 roughly. So it's custom made, but just to give an idea, so I have really like three size smaller foot pockets to have the best sense of like a, uh, uh, foot pocket, like so it uh, really compresses my foot and I can transfer the energy from my leg to the blade better. When an athlete like have his own style developed over the years, when there's a new piece of equipment, it takes time to get used to this new piece of equipment and adjust technique and it like includes being able to uh, improve the back kick being able to push like uh, back with more power or to reduce uh, effort on the front kick so just like, being comfortable with this new style it takes time and it's something not, not done over a couple of days For training, a lot of the time I use actually stiffer fins. I would use medium for training or silicone bio fins for drills. So like soft ones, I would usually leave for deeper dives, like longer dives. So or medium uh, bio fins or yeah, silicone fins. And foot pocket wise, for training, I don't go at, like like with as like, tight with the foot pocket, but I, as well. Uh, as, like, I can't really have like 10 pairs of different pins, even me, it's like just hard to <laughs> stop them. Uh, I, yeah, if I have to do a longer session, I would put a bit of silicone in the foot pocket and I could like wear them for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even with tight fins, and uh, take them off, rest my feet for five minutes, then put them on again. So like most of the time I would wear still like a tight, tight fins, which are competitive fins for training for some of the like longer exercises uh, yeah so in general if you do a lot of things like, it, it, like if you want to maximize the efficiency for competition with tight size but then for training open C sessions like we need a like a like comfortable for pocket so that 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 that's a challenge right and then here silicon fin helps uh, like to have them as a something like comfortable fin and have CB2X or hyperbrack fins as something for uh, like performance. For fun diving, I I use like all my I usually have a lot of models with me. Like I can have CB2X, hyperbrack fins, or silicone fins with me, and I'll like I will do fun dive with like with all of them. I will use all of them. It's just like if the fin is super tight and it's competitive fit. Uh, I would, uh, yeah, I would need to take them off and rest my feet for a bit, but I, I would usually use all of them and, yeah, just know what to expect from this type of thing. So the difference between fiberglass and carbon in the hyperbrackens model is same like with other fins, like monofins. Carbon is uh, more snappy, like reactive, and with the fiberglass, it's uh, have, it has more durability because it's thicker than carbon. Carbon is thinner, and it, being thinner, it, it has extra rigidity, and it can be like very snappy, even being thin. But both of those fins are fragile, so like it's very important to be very careful with carbon and fiberglass as well. For the standard configuration, uh, we recommend 30 degrees angle, same like with the monofin, the new M4 monofin. And it's because with this angle, the back kick is strong and it not too strong because with the big, bigger angle, it can be too strong. And the front kick is very smooth and not as taxing on the thigh, on quads. And it's like it's, it's a style which will be like standard and like suit 
most of the people. For a small angle, it's got to be a very flexible fit and the desire to have a bit more power for the front kick. For the very big angle, like 35, it's got to be a very stiff ankle, like with not much flexibility, then it will be actually compensating this lack of flexibility, which some people need. And it's very hard to like gain flexibility in ankle sometimes. And yeah, so 30 will be the standard configuration. If you don't know which angle to choose, go for 30. If you have normal ankle, like uh, and not too rigid, not too stiff, not too flexible.